Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco with me, Pug Gaming. Last week we worked on a few of the different areas of this main strip here and we're actually getting very close now to the border of Monaco. Having said that, I may still create outside of the border because it does look nice to have those extra bits in. If you look at the map of Monaco and where Monaco actually is, the surrounding areas of France, etc., just make the whole Monaco look come to life, despite it not being part of Monaco. So I think we probably will do that. But for today's episode, we're going to be moving just slightly down this pathway, as I say, towards the border. And we're going to just complete this little fill-in area. So as you can see here, this is the segment we're going to be working on in today's episode. There's this really fancy sort of road layout here as well, which I'm looking forward to placing down. So a little bit of road networking, a little bit of detailing, some buildings going down. We're going to be building a police station as well in today's episode. So all in all, a interesting episode with a few bits of variety to work with. So let's get into it. Let's get building. So we're going to start with some road layouts. And um, firstly, thank you all very much for your comments last week and last week's episode. The question was, do you want to see some network building and the road layout on an episode or should I do it behind closed doors? And pretty much all of you said you want to see the road network being done sort of in an episode. So that's something that's going to be coming up very shortly because my plan is to lay out the road as best we can. So one, we can see what we're working with. And secondly, it's just nice to have that down because it makes us know, you know, it gives us a bit of an idea on how well we're doing and how long is left of the build to complete Monaco. So we're going to do that road layout for the majority, well, all of Monaco and some of the outskirts as well. I won't be doing all of the road layout and I'm sure as the, pro the project progresses, I will modify and change sections of the road. But for now, it's going to be a good template for us to work with and also gives you an idea on how interesting which is probably the best word to use, how interesting the road layouts are in Monaco. There's probably gonna be another episode as well where we work heavily on the underground section of Monaco because despite the roads being very unique and uh, interesting on ground level, the same applies to the underground network that they have going on, which is really incredible to, um, to work with. But that will be a bit later on. Now jumping back into the time lapse, you can see there I moved the uh, road away to be able to put these tunnels in. And the reason I did that is because it was such a small segment that I couldn't actually drag the mouse over that part to um, bring out a road. So using the Move It Mod tool, I was able to pull out the road I wanted to put that on and then I could find a node area that I could add that on. So that's something to keep in mind when you're trying to work with very small junctions and sort of small areas of road where you want to add extra bits on you can always extend it and then put it back down after but now for the time being I'm not gonna do anything with the underground network I'm literally just gonna put the tunnels down and leave them sort of open to work on at a later stage um, the reason for that is because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do the the tunnel networks yet I might do it just to aid the traffic issues that I'm sure I will probably have eventually once Monaco is built up into a, a mass populated area that's hopefully it's going to become at some point. Um, so it may just be used in that sense rather than doing the tunnels light for light. But we will see. Um, obviously the advantage of having these tunnels is you don't actually see where they go when you're watching from above. So that's one way around that. Now one problem I have been encountering recently, and to be fair it's probably going to end up being a lot of uh, an issue throughout the series, but it's when it comes to laying down these roads. So for example, a lot of tinkering of roads is done off camera, I will admit that. And the reason for that is because one, it's highly boring to watch, and two, it takes a lot of time for me to really work out the height adjustments and what level certain roads should be, based on one, the buildings that are gonna be going on it, and two, just to get that sort of slowly evolving height that Monaco has so nicely when you're looking um, from the sea side of the, uh, the, the area. So if you happen to see an area of road suddenly disappear or suddenly change, that is the reason behind it. Um, and it's just the only way possible um, when you're building in Monaco really. Now I have actually also noticed as well, I have been using 
a lot of doubling up of buildings. For example, this here, this hotel, which needs to be this sort of size. I took one building, or well, sorry, one apartment hotel and quadrupled it um, to enhance the size of it. Um, which in a way is a good, a good thing for Monaco at the moment because that in itself quadruples the number of people it will hold, um, which is what we're looking to do here in Monaco at the moment. We're really trying to build up the, uh, the growth of population, which as a result will increase the amount of people and vehicles around the area to make it come to life. Because at the moment, by using a lot of procedural objects and you know a lot well not enough residential at the moment it does hinder that sort of look that we're going for in Monaco but it's only in the short term we know eventually Monaco is going to be very very active a lot of people driving around the population is going to grow we're going to have a lot of people about so that's not an issue at the moment but doing things like this does help I could have done that via procedure objects and again you know me I do love the mod nothing about it throws me off but in this instance I decided to stick with having proper buildings put down which just makes life a little bit easier. I really had fun building this little segment here. It's very different to what I've done so far. This is kind of going back to, you know, just a standard build and doing some very, you know, easy detailing, um, which we haven't really had to do so much in Monaco for a while. We've been obviously concentrating on some of the uh, landmarks within Monaco, which uh, requires a completely different type of detailing than uh, what we're doing here. But nonetheless, this was really fun and refreshing to to work on and it allowed us to be a bit more um, a bit more open and creative in this section because I didn't copy this like for like I took an idea and I thought I'd put a little construction area here with some um, pallets etc uh, ready for some uh, construction work or maybe this is a little business um, I'm not too sure I never looked into exactly what this area is here but it does break up the area and it's just you know nice to add in your own sort of flair into the build as well I'm not sure if you have noticed as well, but I've been doing a lot more live streams as of late. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a bit more time on my hands at the moment, and I've been doing a few live streams whereby we are actually a couple of episodes ahead. Um, but I'm not showing off those areas in the live stream, we're sticking to a different area. And what we're doing there is pretty much trying to build up the population. So we're working heavily on laying down buildings at the moment and I plan to just carry on doing that for now. I've been really enjoying the live streams. Um, there's been a lot of you that have been uh, uh, watching and uh, coming back day after day which is uh, absolutely amazing. I really appreciate the support. Uh, I know I'm doing it um, sort of mid-afternoon UK time which doesn't suit everyone I know. I will try and do some 
evening streams as well because I know there's a lot more of you that would then be able to um, partake and um, enjoy the stream as well. So if you are interested in watching some live streams and you would like them to be in the evening, which is uh, sort of UK time, let me know in the comment section below and I'll um, certainly see what I can do because it's nice to gauge how many people would be um, available to watch at that time. And I am really enjoying it. It's really nice to have you guys along for the journey. Um, and also some great advice has been coming through as well because when we've been working on this, the housing area, we can let our creativity flow a little bit more than what we can do in these areas. And one thing I have been talking about during those live streams is that the decision to basically do these housing, well, the houses area in a lot less detail. I've come to the conclusion that I'm not gonna be able to detail everything to the level of what I have been. And the housing area, in my opinion, is more of a back drop to the overall Monaco build. So I will be trying to still lay out the buildings as close as possible in terms of, you know, if there's a, a housing area here or an apartment here or a hotel there, I'm still gonna try and keep to that. But when it comes to detailing around, we're not gonna be working in high detail levels such as we have been and what you can see on the camera at the moment. It will be a lot more um, dumbed down, a bit more, you know, generic and uh, vanilla, I guess. But, you know, I still will be doing it at a, a more detailed level, just not as detailed as what we are working on currently. So if you are interested in some more live streams, firstly, you've got two options of how to watch it. I'm currently streaming on Twitch um, and also on the YouTube live. So if you're a YouTube follower, you'll get that um, notification. You'll be able to watch it straight from there. But if you prefer to watch on uh, Twitch, you can do so as well. At the start of the video, I promised you a police station and we're gonna give you one. What I'm doing here is I'm using this very small rural police station and we're just using the procedural objects to um, add in um, these Monaco-esque looking buildings, which look very similar to the actual location. So we're just gonna plop these in um, at the right height to try and give the, the best approach and then just keep the little police station front face poking out. Um, I think it looks really nice like this. Um, and also we got the benefit of actually having a police station which will help with um, the people moving in and the actual way the game works, um, which is always good. But there has been a release on the workshop recently whereby you can drop these little blocks in um, to give you various services. So obviously I have completely subscribed to every single one of those. And if you too are building more procedural object based um, builds or you just wanna add additional services go check out the workshop and 
look up the block services which are created by Nailin and there is a whole range of them. You've got elementary school, all the school, university, police, healthcare, garbage, fire, everything's there that you need for services. And even if you're playing vanilla, it's a useful thing to have to just help your your build out and uh, get your levels right and people moving in because obviously in the real game when you're playing it properly if you haven't got enough police stations to cover the area or enough um, hospitals to cover the area people die people move out and your city becomes a, a very <laughs> unstable place to to look after so another good addition to the workshop and with that said that leads us on to the end of episode 20 of project monaco as always, it's been great to have you along with the journey and I really hope you're enjoying the uh, level of detail and videos that have been thrown out with Monaco recently. I am really feeling the Monaco vibe now. Things are really shaping up. Obviously, the first few episodes was a very blank canvas, but I really now feel that Monaco is coming to life. And if you are to catch up on the live streams, you'll be able to see all the uh, housing that we've started to lay down more so in the north side of Monaco, which will obviously be pushing and moving around the rest of the area to really build things up. Next episode will be out in a couple of weeks. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you'll be able to get these videos a lot quicker and episode 21 will be available in the next week, I believe. So other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Follow me on the usual social medias which are popping up on your screen right now. Other than that, I will catch you all again very shortly. Thanks for watching and all the best.